Hi there, thanks for joining me tonight. Tonight I have some great news. Um, I have been asked to do some videos for Creative Fabrica, which is um, a website that offers cutting files and has just started launching their embroidery files. And they have adorable files. They've sent me three of them and I'm going to be doing a series of them over the next few weeks to show you them and I will put links to them in the description. They also sent me some cut files so if you're a scan and cut watcher or you know any of the cutting machines um, hold out for those because the ones they sent me are really 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 cute. If you like horses you're really gonna like these. So anyways let's just jump right into it. This is the cute little guy we're gonna be doing today and what I've decided to do is make a cute little um, money pouch for my niece whose birthday is coming up. I don't, I thought I had a lot of blanks and it turns out all of my blanks are like hats and gloves and nothing that I want to put this on. So I need to beef up my blanks but in the meantime this is what we're going to do. So I printed out the list. It, it, this comes with all of these files that you can see listed on the side and then um, it also Come, the PDF that comes with it is has the stitch suggestions for colors as well as how many you're going to need. So um, I'm going to move you over here slowly. Okay, let's zoom out. Alright, so there's the stitch list, and my, my printer's almost out of colored ink, so I had to print it in this and look at the computer for reference. So I decided to use my own colors. You can go with their um, suggestions, it's always, it's never a bad idea to go with their suggestions, but because I'm making this for Amanda specifically, I wanted to pick my own colors. Alright, so we have number one is already loaded. It's black. And ironically, that's what I already had in my machine. So one is going to do the strings up here. And then we're going to switch it over to gray, which is going to do the body of the elephant. So that's number two. Number three, we're going to switch it back to the black. And that's going to do the eyes and the mouth and this string right here. I think just a couple of little details and then number four is going to be this cute little hat so um, I have chose yellow for the hat and then number five is this little squiggly line on the hat so I chose pink for that light pink for that and then number six and number seven are going to be the same color we're going to have number six be the ear but also number seven, this color jumps down here to like some facial, um, what you call it, accents. And so we're going to have that be number six, right? Number six and number seven are going to be the same colors. Nope, I'm wrong. Number six is going to be fine. I forgot already the order I want to do this. Number seven is going to be these hot pink colors. Number eight, purple. Number nine, green. So, oh, because there's nine color stops, but not nine colors, Stephanie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I couldn't figure out why I only had a set amount of colors. Okay, so I've already got my hoop hooped up with stabilizer and for this I'm going to just use cutaway just regular cutaway I was going to do a sweatshirt and that's why there's all this stuff on there but then I realized the first color was black and the sweatshirt I was using was also black <laughs> so we're going to just float it on here and I have the stuff is called double sided window kit tape 
and I don't think that we can find this exact brand on Amazon, but there is another brand I believe called Frost King, and I'm going to put my affiliate link down below for that as well. That's an Amazon affiliate link. So this, um, and then I'll put the affiliate links for the, the embroidery design as well. All right, so we, we're going to put some of this stuff down. I already did. I put it down, and that's what I can use to hold this. And you can use any kind of double-sided sticky tape to do this if you're just holding it gently. Um, but if it's something stronger, you're going to want to stick with this heavy-duty stuff. Okay. All right, that was a lot of explanation. About nothing. I mean, about everything. I'm just really excited. <laughs> I'm so, so, so excited for them as a company that they've launched this new part. And I'm excited for me as a person getting asked to do this. What a freaking honor. Okay, so I've already got everything loaded up and ready. We're going to go right here. And what we're going to do first is we're just going to put a big square. Go over here to stitch number 10. Adjust, layout, size, and we're going to max it out. Okay, and we're going to run this around. So this is going to give us an idea of where everything is, but I mean, we're not going to change up or down, but um, it's also going to give us definition for the little pouch we're going to make. That does not look like it's getting the bobbin. The whole thing did not sew. <laughs> I'm going to run it again real quick since it didn't look like it ca caught very well in the beginning. Okay. bit bigger than I had planned but it's gonna serve the same purpose we're gonna have a little pouch to put money in that's always cool okay so now we're going to load up the design okay to delete pattern that is okay go back back and right here to upload Okay, so the first thing it's going to do are the strings of the um, holding the balloons for some reason I can't think. Okay, I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to move you real quick. I skipped a step. Okay, I could have stopped it, but it's not going to hurt anything. So I'm going to go to adjust, lay, oh wait, no, not layout. Adjust in the little needle thing, and I want it to go back to the previous design. So that should be that one. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some of this stuff over it because it's felt. The piling on the felt can like easily lose our um, thread, you know, especially the lighter colors. And it also just helps everything kind of glide a lot easier whenever it's, you know, jumping from one color to the other, stuff like that. So you just want a little piece. You don't want it to be too big and floppy. You want it just to cover the area where you're going to be working. Having excess could lead to it getting stuck in the, the machine and making your whole design get messed up. And I'm only telling you that out of experience. <laughs> I 
I love making videos, but I'm not one to watch a video first. I'm one to mess up first and then watch a video to figure out what I did wrong. <laughs> so, if you're like me, you understand. Okay, so that was the only color, the only one in black. And then it's going to come back to black in a minute, but we're going to have to do all the switching and everything. So I'll be back whenever I've got it switched to gray. Okay. So I did the recording of the black part and the beginning of the gray part and for some reason it didn't record it on my phone and so I lost all of that footage but I am on to step number two which is the gray okay which is the elephant body all right I'm gonna try to get the beginning of this and then I'll pick it up again um, once it's finished Unfortunately, won't be able to do any high speed. For some reason, my my phone is saying I don't have enough room, and even though I've deleted everything I can. It's one of those days. Okay, be right back. you guys it's finished with the stitch part number two which is the elephant body and I thought I hadn't um, shown you how to do the black and and that but it turns out I looked back on the video and we did do that it just didn't capture the first part of this which is this really pretty satin stitch on the snout what do we call it elephant trunk that's what it is so that stitched out super pretty. Really, really nice. All right, so now we're gonna switch it back to black and I'll be back with you as soon as I'm back to black. Okay, now it's back onto the black. Let's go ahead and push that down so you could see it. Okay, so that went pretty quickly. That was a black. And now I'm going to switch it out to yellow for the cute little hat. Let's get an up close. Look at this little bow. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So this is what we have so far. It's so cute. So cute. Oh, wait. I'm going to leave that off because I have to change my bobbin. I'll be right back. All right, now it's gonna do the little hat. This should be quick as well. I think all of them should be quick from here on out. Just the body was the thing that took a while. Oh, <laughs> actually I'll be right, right back. I forgot to switch the top thread. Hold on. Okay, we'll try that one more time.
OMG, that is so cute. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm going to switch it over to the light pink, which is going to cover the squiggly in the hat. Okay. And then we'll go to dark pink, which will get us the um, <clears throat> ear and one of the uh, one of the balloons and then also some facial features okay so I'll be right back with the pink okay I thought that this little this type part of the design was squiggles when they're actually little dots how cute is that and I think that the facial feature that I thought was going to happen with number seven is actually going to happen here hmm it's getting late and I'm getting tired. <laughs> okay. This is turning out really cute though. Ah, oh, so one little cute feature for the eye is what happened. With that which I'm glad we went with a light pink because that's gonna match the other part let's go ahead and pop that off so we can look at it so cute so far look at that hat <laughs> okay I'm gonna trim a little bit All right, and so the next part is where we're going to do number six and seven. Um, six and seven, which is going to be the arm and then, or I mean, not the arm, the ear. Let's see, can you see? Nope, I don't want to mess with you too much. I'm going to put you right back where you were. Okay, so the arm, the ear, the ear. One of the balloons and another little, I think like a little cheek feature are going to be in this pink. So I'll be right back once I have that loaded up, okay? Okay, so this part is going to take a while. I'm going to let it get started and then I'm going to pick up again whenever it's finished, alright? There's the ear. Came out so cute. Ugh. I wish the lighting really reflected the vibrancy of the color colors in this. I'm using Embroidex thread that I got as a gift from my niece. And um and it's really pretty thread. Take one real quick look at it before we switch it over to the next color and then I'm just going to run the next two colors and show you guys the final result of this part and then we'll finish the in the hoop part that's going to be the I mean it's super easy it's not super fun anyways so there's going to be two more I guess it is fun but I mean it's not the funnest part okay so I need to switch things out I'll be right back now it's loaded up with the purple and it's going to do a cute little um, 
dot at the top of the hat and then it's going to do a jump over to do one of the balloons so hold ya hold ya oni now i know i said i was going to see you guys at the end of all that but I just thought that cute little dot was so cute I wanted to include it <laughs> all right I will see you guys at the end of all of this okay okay friends we are done with this portion and I think it turned out so cute like I said I wish that the colors would convey so cute okay so now we're just gonna pop it back on the machine and we're gonna run that square one more time Okay, this is how we're going to create our little pouch. Oh, missing piece here. So we're going to float a piece of this piece of felt right in the back. And actually, I think I'm going to grab some clear sticky tape. Just to tape it up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to run that square that's already on the machine. Stitch number 10. Adjust, layout, size. We're maxing it out. And then we'll get out of here. Put that down. And now we have our little. So I had to offload some apps and <laughs> make some room to finish this. I didn't know that you can offload apps. That's a really cool feature. So you want to kind of stick it in there and make sure that it doesn't poke all the way through to the very back. And you can feel that by putting your hand on the back. You can see if the has went through okay and you just make a little hole a little hole in the stabilizer if you want that's what I'm gonna do so that it has a little pocket in there if you put it in front of the stabilizer it's not gonna have very much room so go ahead and cut a hole in the stabilizer and then you could tuck the money in there and it's just a cute little pouch I mean, you could give a gift card pouch, of course, but it's just a little bit more personal. And if you take the time, I didn't, but you can. You can add her name or their name or whatever. But anyways, that's just a cute way to use this adorable design from Creative Fabrica. Look in my description underneath for the affiliate links that will take you to these designs and... Um, if you use those links to find these designs, then it will help support my channel. So anyways, thanks so much for all of your help. I All of your help. <laughs> Thank you guys for sticking with me through this video. I'm really tired and I am just ready for Betty. See you guys. Bye bye. Okay, so I went ahead and said, let's get off of here. And I forgot completely to show you guys how to finish out the project. So I wasn't completely done. And if you're still here, thanks for sticking with me. So, and now of course I can't find my scissors. Kitchen scissors, it is. If you craft in your kitchen, let me know. <laughs> Some of us have this curse. But it's also a blessing at times because like couldn't find scissors i'll just go get scissors from the kitchen okay so and another thing i would have done is i didn't think about it but maybe i would have um 
put another small rectangle there so that I could cut inside the rectangle and the inside this um, stabilizer would be sewn to the felt. That way there's no chance of, of accidentally sticking it down in that hole. It would just automatically go down there. But I just got really excited about the project and I didn't think all of the steps all the way through. <laughs> It's such a pretty design. So from here, we're just going to cut around and make sure you give it enough of this um, room because not only does the design go a little bit longer, but you want to give the, the stitches, they need to be able to have enough um, felt to hold on to, enough material to hold on to for a good stitch. Okay. Down there in the bottoms where we... Oops. Got a little close to that foot. Thank goodness this is just going to a kid. She's not really going to care that much about that. At least I hope she doesn't. She doesn't seem to be that kind of a kid that notices those things so far. Okay, so sticking some money in there. And, you know, it's just a cute little way to use this up. Like I said, I didn't have any blanks available with anything that I thought that I could use this on. I just had some, like big t-shirts and hats and stuff. So um, this is just a cute idea. I know her birthday is coming up and she's going to love this. I already do. So again, this is with Creative Fabrica and I will put all the links to their website and as well as the link to this specific design down in the description. Okay, see you guys later. For reals this time. Bye.